you might be lagging somewhere in solving this problem which you can't deny follow this video it will immensely help you in getting a simple solution so here is the problem on the screen and we have to find the curve of the best fit of the type y is equal to a into e power bx to the following data by the method of least squares here is the data given and we have to find a curve so for that the given relation here is y is equal to a into e power bx the given relation is y is equal to a into e power bx so we have to take log on both sides take log on both sides so if i take log on both sides you see what will happen log y is equal to log a in e power bx so we can write as log y is equal to log a plus log e power bx so this log y is equal to log a plus bx into log e as you know that log e is equal to 1 see log e value is always 1 so what remains here so log y is equal to log a plus b into x so this value remains then this is equation 1 so after that so we have to transform this in the form y is equal to c this is a naught plus a1 into x so we have to change it for that in place of a naught what is there so in place of a naught we have log a and in place of b we have so a1 is equal to b so this is the substitution See here, it's very easy. The given relation is y is equal to a into e power bx. So we have to take log on both sides. So then log y is equal to log of a into e power bx. So this is log y and log ab is equal to log a plus log b. So the power will come friend and log a plus bx into log a. So you know that log e is equal to 1. And what happens here? Log y is equal to log a plus bx. So, this is the equation of the straight line y is equal to a0 plus a1 into x. So, in place of a0, I have log a and in place of b, I have a1. So, for that, so we have to find all the values of a0 as well as a1. So, after finding these two values, so we can substitute in this equation and we will get a straight line equation. Straight line equations. So, what we have to do? So, we have to make certain values here so here our x values are given so what are the x values 2 4 6 8 and 10 so this is 2 this is 4 this is 6 8 and 10 and what are our y values this is 4.077 and this is 11.084 and this is 30.128 and this is 81.897 and this one is uh, 222.62 so these are the values so capital y in place of y we have log y so we have to so we we want capital y values so capital y is nothing but log y so in order to get log y so i have to press that is 4.077 so that is so i'm using this calci so in you have to press and this is 4.077 so what is the value here that is 1.405 this is 1 point this is 405 and the next one is in and the next value is see here the next value here is 11.084 and what is the value here 2.405 this is 2.405 and the next one 30.128 the value here is 3.4054 and the next one 81.897 so what is the value that is 4.4054 next one is in triple two dot which one it is six two 6 2 and what is the value here that is 5.405 hmm? up to 3 it's uh, enough 
so I'm uh, taking this one. So x square. What are the x square values? See the x square values. Two, two square. This is four, and uh, four square. This is a sixteen, and this is thirty-six, and eight square. This is a sixty-four, and ten square. This is hundred, and we have to multiply x into y. So the y value is this one, and x value is this one. So we have to multiply these two. So after multiplying these two equations, I'm slightly writing here. That is two point eight one zero. You can use your own calci, and this is nine point six two zero, and this one is twenty point four three zero, and this one is thirty five point. This is thirty five point two four zero, and this one it is fifty four point zero five zero. So again, we have to do. All the summation here. I want sigma x, sigma y, sigma x square, and sigma x y. So I have to add all these values using calci. So what are those values here? The sigma x value, the total value is thirty. If I add up all the values, it is thirty. And this one is seventeen point zero two five. And sigma x square value is two twenty. And sigma x y value is one twenty two point one five zero. So after getting all these values. I'll make a note of all these values and keep it in the normal equations. See, our sigma x value is our sigma x value is thirty and sigma y value. So this is capital Y. It is seventeen point zero two five and the next one. So this is capital Y. Remember, and sigma x square value is two twenty. And this is also sigma x y value is one twenty two point one five zero. So this is also capital X y. So this is also capital X. See here. So this is also capital X. So all these values are ready. Now the normal equations are. See here. The normal equations for the normal equations for a straight line is. That is sigma y is equal to this is n into a naught plus a one into sigma x and the next one we have to multiply with x so that is a naught into sigma x this is a one into sigma this is x square totally these are all capital letters so if I substitute in this so what is sigma y sigma y value is this one first of all n value so what is our n value here. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. So n is equal to five. So if n is equal to five, this is five into a naught is a constant. And uh, sigma x, what is the sigma x value? This is thirty. Thirty a one is equal to sigma y. This is seventeen point zero two five. And the next value is a naught into sigma x. Sigma x value. This is also capital one. So capital X is equal to this is thirty a naught, and this one is sigma x square. This is two twenty. So this is two twenty into a one. So everything is capital letter, and this is equal to sigma x y. What is the sigma x y value? This is one twenty two point one five zero. So we have to solve these two equations. This is equation one, and this is equation two. After solving these two equations, we'll get the values of a one. And a naught for that. See, I am again using the calci for this. See here, I have to go with mode. So here is equation. So I have to press one here, and after pressing one unknowns, there are two unknowns, a naught as well as a one. There are only two no unknowns. So I am pressing two again. So this is our a one value. See, I am I am showing a one value as five. So a one, I am pressing five is equal to what is b one value? This is thirty. Is equal to what is the C1 value? This is a 17.025. So which is equal to A2? This is 30. And the next B2 value is 220. And the next C2 value is 122.150. Then our X value is C our X value is 0.405. And later the Y value is. This is zero point five. So you remember, in our notation, x is nothing but a naught and y is nothing but a one. So after that, see we have two equations ready here. So what is our a naught value from this? So I'll show you. What is our a naught? A naught is nothing but log a, and a one is equal to b. 
see here r a naught is equal to log a and uh, this one this equation a1 is, is directly equal to b so i got the b value as 0 0.5 as a1 value is 0 0.5 i got the b value so in order to get a value see i have to make an anti log of a naught so so a is equal to so if i send this one log to other side this is e power a naught see here this is anti log of this one so see how we have to uh, calculate this one so a value is equal to or else anti log of uh, this one a value a naught value is 0 0.405 so we have to press shift so, okay, once. Uh, so we have to press shift and in at the same time and 0 0.405 so what it is so the value here is a value is 1.499 so this is our a value so remember this one this is very very important uh, the most important thing so usually uh, most of the students will leave uh, a naught as it is but you shouldn't leave like that so make it as shift shift and in at the same time if you press you will get that is a uh, anti log of log and a value we, you got therefore the required equation is the required equation is from the question what it is y is equal to a into e power bx so y is equal to a into e power bx now i have to substitute this so what is our a value this is 1.499 e power what is our b value this is 0 0.5 into x so this is how we have to solve this is also the most important so i hope you all guys understood so meet you in my next video upcoming video very very soon i'll keep bringing up these videos for you stay connected and pass it on to your friends if you really like and also raise your thumb thank you so much